right, the home page is really starting to come together. In this video, we're going to take a look at the next section of our page, which is the history panel. Right. So, Rob, go ahead and get us started. Okay. Uh, if you haven't saved lately, now's a good time to save. In fact, anytime you finish a section of something, it's a good idea to hit save. Uh, just get in the habit of doing that. You just yeah. never know what's going to happen. The power could go out. Right. Your computer could crash. <laughs> right. I mean, Somebody... Photoshop could lock up. You just never know. Yeah. So make sure you save often, that Control-S key. Right. It's, it's good good to have on hand. So uh, as before, I'm going to close our news uh, folder there. I'm going to create a new folder, layer folder, call it history, history, drag our previous block in there, mm -hmm. and uh, let's step back, because I don't think I want lime green. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah, so um, let's look at something real real quick here. Um, let me put my guides back on, control H. Mm -hmm. uh, we, this is lining up good. This is lining up good. Uh, these guys here don't relate to, to this block, so don't worry about that. Right. Uh, I'm going to hide that again. Control H. Uh, zoom back out a little bit. I noticed that there was a one pixel uh, right here that was missing, so I'm just going to fill that in real quick. Okay, and you're going to Looks like making a marquee selection. Marquee selection. I'm going to nudge it down one pixel. Oh, okay. Just gotcha. to make it pixel perfect accurate, I'm going to go ahead and choose that lime green using my eye driver tool. Mm -hmm. Hit Control Delete, and now it's a solid block, touching the, uh, touching it exactly like we want it. Nice. Okay. All right. So what we have in mind uh, for the history, um, I'm going to go back to our color palette. Okay. Uh, that we've been taking colors from. And I'm going to look for a color uh, as a background that will fill in nicely here. I want something darker, because it's on the edge especially, uh, that will give it weight to this whole uh, sure. to, to this whole area. Uh, I'm going to use my eyedropper tool. I'm going to go with eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> okay? So I'm going to fill this area with this color. All right, so you switched it to the background, mm -hmm. and you're going to hit Control-Delete again? That's right. I have to, yeah, oh, I have control, to control, and then click on your right. layer. Control, click on the layer. Right. Now you have it selected. Right. And then Control-Delete. There you and go. And now you've turned it blue. Nice. Okay, I'm going to drop that selection, hitting Control-D. And uh, what, do we want, what do we want to put in here? Let's look at our copy. Our mm -hmm. text, um, I believe it's at the top. Yep, it is. Okay, company yeah, history. The company. Okay, yeah. we have the short and the long. Uh, for the home page, we want the short. <laughs> yeah, because I do not think that will fit. In the box. Right, right. Okay. Get that nice little one-liner up there. Yeah. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to. Uh, I don't want green. I'm going to. <laughs> if you hit this box here, it will set it back to the default colors, which are black and white. Black and white, and you can swap. So now you have white and black. Nice. So that when you when you go type, or when you paste your text, in this case, it will be white. Very cool. And we don't want it centered. <laughs> um, so, so let's move it. I'm going to put a headline up here of some kind. Um, something like this. Just want to give a little... So you have room to put, like, history or company right. history or something like right. that. Right. And so let's start adding some line breaks. Um, you know what? There, were, there was a tip we were talking about earlier, mm -hmm. uh, and I don't think we talked about it uh, to our viewers. Let's see if this works. Okay, it works. Uh, yes. What I just did is I used the text tool and so select and drag mm -hmm. uh, an area, and let's see what happens if I paste into this. Bink. Awesome. I say that just saved us a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to hit the line breaks. Instant line breaks. Yeah, so that that's a good thing. I like mm -hmm. that. All right. Um, this text is maybe a little bit small. Um, let's see what it looks like if it's a little bit bigger. Um, that's okay. I don't like it, actually. Well, let's go back. I think this is more readable. Okay. So, all right. So we have our text here. Uh, let's go ahead and add a headline. And we have a new layer. Okay. 
Um, I think and let's, put in there. Uh, let's try it's, instead of history. History sounds kind of impersonal. Let's try our history. Ah, okay. Uh, that's more uh, of what a company would say. Our history. You cannot read this, but you will soon. Because <laughs> it's all behind the other text. <laughs> Not out history. Out history. Uh, our yes history. Okay. Um, and once again, I want to incorporate it in, into the look of uh, you know of their site. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to use that Rockwell again because I like that font <laughs> and it's it's a cool font. Yeah, it's working very well for us. I'm going to. Uh, Give some dot 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 there, just kind of to lead in, mm-hmm. and it also helps fill the space a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and so I'm just gonna make it like this, um, about that size, maybe a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to our tools here, to our type tools. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make it all caps. Okay. Uh, that even helps a little yeah. bit more, I think. Looks very nice. Okay. Um, I'm liking this. I think it's I think it's a little too prominent. Uh, we were talking earlier about how separating the colors, making things uh, not quite so bright, or at least have them stand out differently. Sure. So let's see if I can knock this back. You know, hmm. if I if I am going to start here instead, instead of starting at white, I'm going to select uh, this dark, mm-hmm. and I'm going to work my way back towards white. Oh, I see. Say what. As if it, almost as if it were slightly transparent, but not really. Sure. So I'm kind of liking this. Kind of a screen effect. Mm-hmm. Optical. I, I think I kind of like this right here. Yeah, it's nice. Okay. So, all right. So we have a copy. We have our mm-hmm. headline. And uh, we need something more of interest. Uh, let's add a picture. I know we have some more photos. Let me go up level. We don't want the burning logs. <laughs> we don't want the heavy equipment. <laughs> Our history and show some fire. Yeah. Uh, that probably, although that's kind of neat for history. I mean, if you think about it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, like the rings of the tree. Yeah, the rings of the tree. Um, I like the idea of this cabin because it's an old company. The, kind the, of a statement of where it all started. Right, yeah. right. As we were talking about the planning in the planning stages of this company, it's an old company. Uh, if you read, if you actually take the time and read the copy, um, you'll see that uh, they were founded in what the 1800s. Yeah, it's yeah, a really old company. So maybe this was like where they started um, their very first. Well, it log is a cabin. log house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they uh, had to start somewhere. Yeah. That's a really big yeah. log house too. <laughs> they started with logs. Uh, yes. And so um, let me take a look here. I have a type of. Uh, I want to make sure we're keeping house as we go along. Gotcha. We seem to have a layer that doesn't have anything in it. I'm going to <laughs> delete that. Okay. So let's name our cabin Kevin. You with the original name. Mm-hmm. Uh, turn it back on so we can see it. And it's a little big. <laughs> Slightly. For the area we're going to be using. Um, it kind of takes up the whole website. Yeah. You know, I'm going to... At this point, I'm going to stop here okay. uh, because what I want to do is I want to uh, have this idea of making it more rustic looking, uh, mm-hmm. more old, more aged. Um, like if you took this photograph back in the 1800s okay. or you know, when photography was invented, gotcha. uh, it wouldn't look like this. It would look uh, kind of like, um, you know, gray. It would be like a white to start with, of course. But because it's aged, maybe we look at, like, make it look like an aged photograph. Okay. Uh, gives it more of a historical, since we do have the word history up here, mm-hmm. sure, it sure. gives it more of a historical feel. A little more dated. So I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to hit escape. Mm-hmm. I'm going to I'm going to just go ahead and delete this layer. I'm going to go back and open that photo again. Okay. Uh, so I hit Control-O to open. Come back, log Kevin. And I'm going to put this more in the look of an old photograph. Oh, cool. So I want to see some photo touching, <laughs> retouching, it's very touching. adjustment um, stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm, first of all, I'm going to recrop this just a little tighter into the cabin. So you used a hotkey to grab the, hot, the crop tool. What was that? Did I? Oh, right. I, you I, did? You didn't I, even I, notice you did. I did. 
Uh, I hit the C key. Oh, okay. Which stands for crop. There you go. Um, and that gives you the crop tool. Very good. And I'm going to crop in a little tighter, a little more focused on the cabin here. Okay, nice. Okay. I'm going to make it aged. Mm -hmm. So um, let's add an adjustment layer. Uh, what what this little guy right here. Little half black and white circle. Right. Uh, gives you an adjustment layer. Ah. What that does is it allows you to choose different kind of operations uh, to the to the photo, usually dealing with color mm -hmm. or, or brightness or contrast, those kinds of things. Um, I'm going to choose uh, one called hue saturation. And the first thing I'm going to do is hit colorize. Ooh. And so all, already it, it's starting to look like an old photograph. Yeah, because it's got that sort of reddish look. Right. That a, first a of all, I took photos. all the color out yep. and, and replaced it with uh, blacks to reds. Mm -hmm. um, so if you slide the saturation up and down, we were talking about hue saturation and lightness earlier. We can slide these guys around and get things more saturated, less saturated. Um, red is not quite the color. I'm thinking more of a brown, sepia. Sure. Um, look. And, you know, I don't want it to be this intense. I want it to be a little less intense than this. So I'm going to turn down saturation just a little bit. It looks like uh, the beginning of The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> we're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> and I'm going to push the lightness up just a little bit. Because these photographs fade over time, sure, and so they don't they no longer have absolute black in them mm -hmm. because of let's say it's a little bit faded. I'm gonna push that up just a little bit. so that that's kind of what I had in mind. Nice. Hit up, I'm gonna hit okay. Wow, you just made that look really easy. <laughs> well, it, it, it is it easy. is really yeah once, once you know mm -hmm. it's easy. that's the trick. And so um, in addition to, to this, I'm going to add a border, uh, make it look like it's in a picture frame. All right. Um, as pictures were commonly those days, um, I'm going to I using I'm using my crop tool. I'm going to expand the area. Okay. So that we have a border, and what I'm going to do is just uh, move my crop tool outside the borders of of the, of image, the actual image. Of the actual image. Yeah. And you'll see here when I do this, and the next thing I'm going to do. Oh, oh, before I do that, mm -hmm. I don't want it, it. You'll see what happens. If I hit the enter key, I now have a black border. Oh, I got you. Because your background color says right. black. So I don't want a black border. I would like to have a white border. Ah. Uh, so I'm going to swap these out first. And just, again, do what we we're talking about here. Voila. Cool. Black border. And for one little extra touch, I'm going to... Um, Put a little stress on the edges, um, make them look a little darker around the edges. I, and what I've done here, I've selected the brush tool, and I've, I'm using our hotkeys uh, to uh, to make the brush larger. Mm -hmm. I've also created a new layer. It's the left and right bracket yeah. keys, if you've forgotten. See, see, the cool thing about all this is that this is all non-destructive. Yeah, can, exactly. Can, you can go can, back to the original photo. Yeah, uh, I can turn these layers on and off, and uh, and I'm I'm okay. That's just too cool. So I'm gonna make it real big. Okay. And now the next thing I'm do, gonna do. Okay, this is not the kind of brush I was looking for, <laughs> so I'm gonna undo that. Get a softer brush. I need a softer brush, and you can do that by clicking up here, pushing the hardness down. I'm gonna push that all the way. Okay, that's kind of where we're going. And just real, real quickly here. And this is real, this is way too dark, but you'll. I'm gonna fix it here in just a second. Okay. Okay, so I just went around the outside. You saw what I did there. Mm -hmm. I'm to, we were talking earlier about how you could use this. Uh, anything that um, there are lots of things in, in Photoshop that you can click on and then just slide. This right. is one of those things. So you click on the word opacity. Oh, the word opacity and just click and hold and oh. you can just slide it right down. That's too cool. It is. It's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. So we have a nice little effect there. I'm going to clean it up just a little bit. I, I what I did this time, I hit the E key for erase. Mm -hmm. And again, I have that awful, awful brush. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to soften up that brush. I'm going to soften up this brush. Gotcha. And I'm actually going to make this larger. So that we we don't lose focus on, on the cabin. We don't we don't overpower it. Sure. 
Okay. So we have all these things ready to go. Mm-hmm. Um, so what I'm going to do is flatten this because we don't need all these layers inside exactly. of our composition. Exactly. Time to get destructive. Right. Uh, we'll flatten it. Uh, select, uh, and we don't even have to copy and paste. I'm just going to drag it in. And if you're new to the idea of flattening, that means now this whole thing is no longer separate layers. It's all just right. one image. Right. We were just doing that for an exercise. You can undo that after you flatten. Sure. And save it if you wanted to mm-hmm. separately, if you wanted to use it later. But I, I'm not going to need it, so I'm going to close it and not save it. That's typically what I do when I'm making multi-layered images that I flatten. I'll right. flatten it, then undo it and save right. it. Right. I do that a lot, too. So uh, here we have it. It's once again too big. Yeah, that's a slightly oversized cabin. So I'm gonna. I just want it to be small, and um, I don't. I hate to say the word precious, but it kind of fits. <laughs> you know? nah, it'll work. <clears throat> not not so precious, but cool. Yeah. How's that? Um, yeah, that's looking pretty good. And that gives it, you know, just gives it a little bit of interest. Yeah. Um, now we have a hole, so I'm actually gonna I'm gonna undo this, and I'm going to uh, back pedal a little bit. We're gonna change our strategy. I'm gonna make him a little bigger. And I'll but wait, now it's covering <laughs> over the text. Yeah, it is, isn't it? So now we'll, what are we gonna do? We're gonna we'll have to fix bigger. it. We're gonna have to fix it. Um, that right there. Yeah, I, I'm thinking this is good right here. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah. That that way. Let's let's step back. And now if you could just have your text kind of right. roll around that image. Yeah, let's have our text cooperate. And so um, I'm going to do this the hard way. Whoa. Yes, you are. I just I just hit tab a couple times. Okay. Yeah. Nothing too painful. No. And just so we can see what we're doing, I'm going to move this on top. Well, you can see most of what we're doing anyway. <laughs> right. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. Yeah. You see where we're going? Mm-hmm. Except that didn't work. You need, <clears throat> yeah, one more line. Yeah. So I need to um, move this guy over. Fitness. Mm-hmm. Or Finest. what is it? Finest. Finest. That's a little hard to make out against the image. Finest quality logs. Yes. They are great they are. logs. That's a, that is a great log. <laughs> I mean, wow. Seriously? And there's one of the things about text boxes. They will automatically hyphenate your words for you. Right. So, which you may or may not want. Right. This really is just replacement. <clears throat> We're yeah. going to be re- reconstructing this. That's right. It'll be actual right internet right. text when you're done anyways. It won't right. be an image. We think. We think. <laughs> it may not. We may end up using this. Um, yeah, we may have to. We, we may have to. We'll see. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Um, one more thing we would like to do here is add a one more button. Mm-hmm. And uh, again, just to uh, give somebody uh, an idea that there is more to see, uh, and this is not it. Um, I'm going to hit carriage return a couple times. Okay. And just sort of add it to the to the bottom of our list here. I'm going to type more. We may decide to have this underlined um, later on. We'll see how, how it looks. Like if it were part of a link. Right. right. Like a link. Um, and I'm going to... Um, let's stylize it a little bit. Using our Rockwell. Mm-hmm. And let's make it italic so it's, it's more keeping with this guy. Okay. How's that? Looks great. Okay. Maybe move that more over... No, uh, no, it looks pretty good. I'm just thinking out loud, and actually, it looks just fine. Okay, um, I'm gonna move him down. One okay. More. Yeah, so he's more in line. Sure. You don't have to do that. I, I just did it. Sure. Just keep everything nice and lined up. Okay. Looking really good. I think that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for the history panel. Right. So, uh, great work, Rob. It's probably a good time to go ahead and save right. your file I'm, again. I'm so going to hit save right now. Hit that mighty Control-S button, Control-S. and that's going to wrap it up for this video.